Welcome to Tinker's Level Editor. This is a brand new tool that will help you quickly and easily program your own multi-level game. To get started, let's build a new game with the editor and show you how to use it. To access the level editor, click the canvas toggle on the top of the screen. This will take you to the level editor screen. To go back to the code view, simply click the toggle again. In the level editor screen, you can quickly and easily build terrain for your characters to run around on. Just click on the tile brush and start painting. You can choose a custom background for your level by clicking on the background icon at the top left of the screen. You'll notice that backgrounds are very big in the level editor, giving your characters plenty of room to move around. The level editor comes with special characters on the left of the screen that you can drag and drop into your game. In the top row I have the good guys. These are the characters that the camera will follow and that I will control while playing the game. In the middle row I have my bad guys. These guys already have a little bit of code inside of them that makes them run around and attack me when I play. Let's make this guy a little higher so I can get him with my first shot. There we go. If I want to customize any of these characters, all I have to do is double click them once they're on the screen. Let's see, I want my guy to be a cyborg knight. Alright, cool. Let's take him for a test run. You know I changed my mind. Let's get a dragon in there instead. Level editor characters come with a brand new library of Tinker function blocks specifically designed for building platformer games. You can find these blocks by selecting the platformer category on the left of the screen. Remember, only level editor characters can use these blocks. These blocks come in handy for quickly changing the ways actors move and behave. For example, I didn't like how that fly bug was shooting at me. I want him to fly at me instead, so all I have to do is swap out the shoot attack block with the fly attack block. Once I choose a few values to show how fast I want the bug to fly at me, we're ready to test and see how it works. Let's see. Oh great, see he's following me now. Right into my ice breath. If you want to know more about the level editor, or to know what a specific block does, click on Help on the toolbar. Select Tools, and choose Level Editor. One of the most powerful new features of the Tinker Level Editor is the ability to add multiple levels to one project. I think I'll use an archer to show you how this one works. To add another level, click on the plus button on the bottom of the screen. And now I have level 2, a brand new blank level. Let's see, uh, let's go with an underwater level. Now I'll just place some underwater rocks and drag my character in from the previous level. Simply click on the level icons on the bottom of the screen to switch between levels. To go from level 1 to level 2 while playing the game, I'm going to add a boss character that takes me to level 2 when he dies. I'm going to have to add some code to him to make him switch levels. I'm going to have to find the set level block, which is in the looks category, and attach it to the end of his script. This way, when he dies, he's going to set the level that I want. All I have to do now is click on the block and select level 2. And that should do it, so let's click play and see how it works. Alright, good. Got him with some arrows. There's a little bug friend. Oh, it looks like he's stuck in the corner. Let's lure him out here. There we go. Got him. Let's find that boss. There he is. And this boss only has one health, but you can change that with the level editor blocks if you want to make a guy really tough or really weak. And let's shoot him. There we go. And there we are. It took me to the underwater level. Now if I want to, I can fill this level out with a bunch more characters, and I can even add more levels by hitting the plus button on the bottom of the screen. I keep doing this until I've created my own game. 
If I want to share my game once I'm done with it, all I have to do is click the share button on the top right of the screen and type in the email of whoever I want to send it to. Once I click send, they'll receive a link that they can click on to play my game in their browser. And that is Tinker's Level Editor. Can't wait to see what you're going to make.